because she might blow a kiss at you. Maybe. Okay. Say hello. My name is Laura Dye. I'm a registered nurse. I've worked with Atlas prior in a traveling assignment. Um, I've been a cardiac step down unit nurse for four years prior to becoming a recruiter. And yep, that's me in a nutshell. So growing up, I had a sister. Her name was Jacqueline. We were six years apart, um, you know, super close. Graduated nursing school in 2017. Um, she was obviously there by my side every step of the way. So she went to college and, um, you know, she was just on her way back home from college and she was hit by a car and um, she was immediately taken to the hospital. Um, I had, it's actually pretty crazy, I had a friend that I went to nursing school with. I remember that she had worked at CMC Maine and I called her and I said, Aisha, I said, can you please go to work and see if my sister is there? And she said, yes. Apparently my sister was in the OR. They were doing surgery. And I remember like, I should tell me like, she's gonna be okay, she's in surgery, right? Well, we had that first meeting with the physician and you know, they said that chances were not very good that my sister was gonna make it. She had sustained pretty significant injuries. And I just remember the healthcare provider, she was a resident. She grabbed my hand and she said, it's okay, you don't have to be an RN right now. You can be your sister's sister that she's so proud of. And that is when like I was really taken back. My mother was having a really hard time of kind of like letting go of my sister and like what was going on. And you know, me having that medical background, I understood what was going on. It sucked and I hated it and I wish there was another way, but there wasn't. And so it was really just time for my mom to kind of like say goodbye. But in the midst of all of that, they did a little wedding for my husband and I. And, you know, we had my sister's maid of honor dress because she was going to be in my wedding. Like we had, I had all this stuff planned out and they had put, you know, the maid of honor dress on my little sister. They made the room really pretty. They made us a cake and we got married there at the bedside. On her driver's license, she was listed as an organ donor, but you know, my mother was um, obviously over my little sister because she was still younger. And um, my mom had to make the decision whether to donate her organs or not. We donated her organs um, and crazy thing is, this is like a very weird moment, but like before my sister's car accident, she was like, I'm going to be the best man of honor and I'm going to be at your wedding no matter what. And I was like, okay. I was like, I know you will be there. You're going to be like my number one support person because you always have been. Well, um, after her accident and after we donated her organs, I actually found James, the gentleman that got her heart six months after he was like her heart was implanted into him and then the same with the kidney we found the kidney in september which was my birthday month so that was awesome and they were both there at my wedding rather my sister was not there like physically in her flesh she was there in a way and spiritually she was definitely there at our wedding ceremony that we had had um in 2020 yeah <laughs> James's daughter got married in the hospital the same time I got married in the hospital because they were planning the death of him and I was planning the death of my sister at the same exact hospital. Yes, it just, my sister's heart came available and he was a perfect match and that's how our story synced up. So, I mean, I don't know what your belief or faith is, but I don't think that's coincidence at all. I think that that's just the way it was supposed to be. And that's just like, it was crazy. I'm glad I was there, but too, I'm more thankful for my friend, Aisha. Like, <laughs> I couldn't thank her enough because she stayed there with my sister until we got there. You know, we live an hour from Charlotte. And then on day three, she said, since you guys are doing the apnea test, she said, if you need me to stay, I will stay. She said, but this test is hard to watch. If you want me to stay in the room, I will. And she stayed with my mom right by her side. And then she left. And 
my mom says to this day that Aisha was her angel. And the fact that me and Aisha went to nursing school together, we graduated together and just, I'm telling you, universe works in mysterious ways. That's how I got into traveling. My sister loved to travel. And that's when I took my assignment with Jennifer Wheeler here at Atlas. And I loved it. And then I had my assignment, got super, super sick, found out I was pregnant with Janie. And I had to cancel my assignment. And then, you know, I had to stay at home, working from home. That's when I found recruiting through Jennifer. And I'm very grateful for this job and to be able to work for Atlas and be a part of Atlas because I truly feel that we value family and, you know, just that time. First off, I just want to thank Aisha Godbold for being there for not only me, but for my mother in that hard time. Without you, like, I couldn't have made it through nursing school and then losing the death you know, losing my little sister. Um, and then just all the nurses and physicians that were there at CMC Maine on January the 29th through the 31st. I, you know, thank you so much. And then obviously the nurses and physicians that took care of James and Steplin, the recipients, without you guys, you know, they wouldn't be here and have been able to be in my wedding. I just, and I thank God for every day for them and then for you for taking care of them. And last but not least, I know it is Nurses Week, so go out, enjoy, spoil yourself, and have a great day.